What's going on guys, it's J-Mac here, back again with BBC Collector, mm. and we have March's Nerd or Sci-Fi Block from Nerdblock to unbox. So, um, it is supposed to be Doctor Who themed, so let's go ahead and check it out. And well, I was inside. noticing whenever I first got it off the porch, it was very heavy compared to the other one, so I thought, do something good in here. Maybe we got the special one. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Ooh. Lots of color. Rock'em, suck'em. Nice. Rock'em, suck'em, rock'em. So it's not exactly... It's Terminators. Doctor Who, it's Terminators. Rock'em, <laughs> suck'em, Terminators. Got it. It's like, that's not exactly Doctor Who, but okay. Well, I don't think everything's supposed to be Doctor Who, though. Insert color photo here. Exclusive for Nerd Block. I'm trying to figure out what this is. It's it a familiar. Ooh, maybe I'm like completely out of it. Here's another one. Oh, is it like a sticker? What? Maybe we should read the card and it tells us. <laughs> we'll come back to this. What else yeah. do we get in here? We got <laughs> Maybe Check this out. That's the heavy thing. This is a heavy thing. We got a collector tin. A collector tin. Is there something in? A lunchbox. I think so. I'm trying to figure out how to get it undone without breaking everything. All right. Oh. I need to carry a tin around with some cards in it. Wait, is there something in the bottom? No, there's nothing in the bottom. It's a game. So, came with the game this time, Trump called Top Trumps. So, pretty cool. Who's the strongest? Who's the scariest? Who's the bravest? Find out with the Top Trumps TARDIS tin. 60 cards of heroes and enemies and great stories from 50 years of time travel. Deal the cards, choose your category, and see if you can beat your opponent. It's a lot to see about playing that sometime. Yeah. It came with a nice tin. Looks like the TARDIS. Oh, I can take my lunch with that. Maybe if you clear it out. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and this is the other Doctor Who themed. It's a nice... Cup. With a straw. A tumbler cup. Nice. We got a keychain. Aww. It is a dancing Groot keychain from Guardians of the Galaxy. I'll take it out so I'll show you guys. If I don't break it. <laughs> like a little pot. Oh, you know what? It moves. Did you shake it? Shake it, shake it! It's not focusing, but you can kind of see what he looks like. Get my piece out of there! Oh. Me! <laughs> I want to be the center of attention. But yeah, so oh my goodness. we got that. <laughs> I'm gonna it. get this to focus. <laughs> we'll focus it. Quit moving around back there. Well, maybe if it doesn't see me. <laughs> look at me, look at me. That's okay. terrible. So. The fifth element. Oh, it's a little damaged on the corner. Which one is this? Lilu. Straps costume. Sounds strappy. See? It's not very. Oh, there it goes in focus. Focus, focus. Here's all the other options on the back. Ruby Rod. What? Road. I don't know the fifth element. I don't know either. I so, have honestly never seen I'm it, sadly. Not too keen on this. Okay. And this is a sci-fi block exclusive. It's a multi-pass. I think I said that already. It does have <laughs> some things filled out on it or whatever. Oh yeah, let's, oh there it goes, good. But there is one, it did include a blank one mm -hmm. that you can fill out yourself. 
And what the card says is if you ever find yourself in the future or at a comic convention, you can use this multi-pass as your all-in-one identification, license, and payment Ooh. card. I've even included a DIY sticker for you to make this your own. So, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm gonna put my photo on this. Go somewhere. And this I'm a little sad. Is it like psychic paper? This got a little messed up in the box. Oh, I'm man. a little sad. It's the classic Boba Fett uh, action figure print. So, I mean, if you put it in a frame, it'd be fine, but, I yeah. it usually has a card that says, oh, th well, that's why you have the card. Well, I pulled okay, it out while it. you were talking about fucking so. mm. Doctor Who, tin and drink cup. When you're traveling through all space and time, you can work up quite the appetite. Luckily, you now have this great Doctor Who lunch tin and drinking cup as your newest companions. <laughs> Much like the TARDIS, the lunch box can hold a lot more than you might think. Which drinking cup did you get? The TARDIS or the Weeping Angel? Oh, there's a Weeping Angel one. That is not nice. We'll have to get two, two sci-fi blocks. <laughs> Would no, you I'm focus? not getting two. <laughs> <laughs> but TARDIS is cool. TARDIS is always cool. It won't scare my niece. Anyways. She doesn't like the Weeping Angels. And of course, we always have the card that tells us what's coming next month. And so it says for the month of April, there will be Star Wars coming. We had Star Wars last month. Well, maybe it's Star Wars again. Maybe, maybe we'll get some uh, new what about Firefly? Star Wars stuff. That says you can also expect some mega galactic, meta galactic items from Doctor Who, Firefly, and an exclusive collectible for the fans of E.T. and more. Yay! Well, I'm excited about this shirt. That's, I think, my favorite. That's well, your favorite? Well, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know I'm not going to carry the tin around. I might drink from my TARDIS cup. If the Boba Fett <laughs> print was <coughs> was not messed up, but yeah, that'd probably be my favorite. Yeah, well, I just like all the colors on the shirt. But I think I like the group uh, keychain. <laughs> you we'll have like to find it. a key to put that on. Yeah. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for today. Uh, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe. We've got more coming. As we said, April's coming up. Uh, here in about a month, we'll have the next sci-fi block as well as some other unboxings and stuff. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you Bye. soon. Bye. <laughs>